Okay, so it, it sounds then you feel that we need a renaissance of Indian scholars who yes. are not uh, who are not feeling the need to distance themselves from the the roots and the psychological and historical roots of these traditions. So here we're coming to kind of an interesting um, interesting conundrum in Indic studies, which I know that we've spoken about a lot at the Center for Indic Studies, and that is how does this Indic voice uh, get created, especially considering the huge diversity within the Indic traditions and the lack of, say, you know, a, a chain of succession like a, a nice central authority and things like this. Cent no yeah. central authority. It's yeah. not a monolithic. Yeah, um, so, I, so obviously I, I churned that issue very wi widely in my, my own mind. Who is the Indian voice and what is the Indian point of view? Right, and who is the so arbiter many, of this, and this Indic identity that's yeah, being created? Yeah, and when there's so many views. So I, the way I answered it is not the normal way. The normal way is you get all the Indian schools together and try to build some harmony, and that mm -hmm. hasn't worked. So I never tried that. Okay. People criticize me for why didn't you go and have a council of all the dharmas. I said, because it didn't work for thousands of years. I'm not going to try that. You can please try that. <laughs> My method is a very different method. My method is that if I want to figure out what's common among the dharma traditions, I will ignore that question. I will instead ask, how are we different from others? And maybe the way we are different from others is common amongst us. Okay, so you would establish commonalities by distinguishing by disti ourselves. That is called the Purva Paksha method, which means I study the other. Mm -hmm. So by studying the other, I found that the core DNA of Christianity is the Nicene Creed. And I found that the Nicene Creed is incompatible with karma and reincarnation. Okay. So then I found that all the Indian traditions share karma and reincarnation. So where we are common is how we are different from someone Okay, others. and then there we have a tenet of the Indic voice established. So that's one point. So like that I've discovered four different major areas of commonality within the Indic traditions and difference with 